I wanted to go ahead and do a review and an instruction video on this particular product here. Uh, what we have here is a Schumacher battery charger. It charges 6 volt and 12 volt. The model number is SC1281. It has a 30 amp boost capability for the charge and then it gets down to a 2 amp charge for tenor. Uh, this product, I bought it last year. Uh, I paid about $80 for it uh, at, at uh, Walmart. Not a bad price, but it was a bit confusing for me. Maybe uh, not having a full understanding about batteries kind of contributed to that, and that, that could be, I guess, my fault. However, there are some functions to this that I thought that was confusing. I couldn't figure out how to get a percentage reading on the life of my battery. And, and that's what I want to kind of share with you guys and how to figure out and understand this. Hopefully it can save you some time. Uh, I had, had to look at the owner's manual and uh, I even had to make a phone call to customer service to try to talk to someone to have something explained to me because I thought in theory, I thought something was wrong with this. The function of it was just didn't make sense, uh, but this is just the way it is. But if you learn and understand how this thing works, I think you'll be pretty happy with it as I am now. So right now it's not plugged into anything other than into the wall or uh, the power source. This thing wants to start up at the 30 amp boost with a standard battery charge, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect my deep cycle marine and RV battery that I purchased as Walmart from Walmart as well. It's an Everstart brand. Uh, I've got four of them, 122 amp hour battery life. Uh, those batteries I paid about $90 for each. Uh, not very expensive. I've been fairly happy with them. I plan on doing another video to uh, talk about those batteries. Uh, I've got four, as I mentioned. I, uh, I wire them in parallel with each other to get longer battery life uh, in my fifth wheel that we use. And uh, But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this one single battery. Uh, as you can see, nothing changed, nothing happened yet. In order to get this thing working, you gotta push the start, stop, red button right here. Now the first thing it wants to do is it wants to let you know what voltage is coming off the battery. It's, it's, it's at a 12.9 voltage. That is good. That lets me know that it's probably got a full charge as well. But my question is, is how do I get the percentage reading up here? Because I want to know how much uh, life I have in this battery. Well, there's no selection, there's no buttons to, to get that reading. So naturally, I wanted to go ahead and push start again for this thing to start charging. I figured maybe while it was charging, maybe it would let me know. So you want to go ahead and do that. You push the start and stop button. You might hear the fan running. That fan is just to keep this from overheating. Right now, it's letting me know that it's charging at a 12 voltage. There's the charging light, so it is charging. I have it set at a standard battery type. Uh, I cannot tell you much about the AGM and the gel batteries. Uh, those are just different types of batteries. I haven't dealt with them. But deep cycle batteries, auto batteries, most typical batteries you use are going to be standard. So you just keep this at the standard setting right here. Down here is a reading for bad battery this light will go on if the battery is bad if it's not holding a charge or just not charging at all uh, but that that's another topic over here we have three different settings on a uh, type of charge or start here uh, the only the, the way to change that is this button right here rate selection as you can see there's been no movement there's been no change on the percentage this thing is charging, yet I still don't know how much battery life I have in my battery. You gotta push this button once. It brings you down to the 100 amp engine start. You press it again, and it brings you to the tenor mode. Uh, this is the only way to get your percentage 
of the battery life reading, and that's when it's at the two amp charge. Uh, why I can't get the reading without it charging or while it's charging on the 30 amp, I don't know. But like I showed you, when you turn this thing on, it automatically starts at the 30 amp boost charge. But you have to move the mode from that to the 2 amp tenor charge. It doesn't say tenor on there, but tenor is a, like a, a slow, low charge to keep the battery from losing life and from uh, damaging it as well if you're not using your battery for long periods of time. So you just select this to the 6 12 amp charge and it would be nice to be able to get the percentage charge while it's either off or in boost charge but it won't the only way to get that reading is in the tenor mode the 2 amp charge so that's basically it uh, like I said I I've been pretty happy with this I think the price I paid was $80 for this you get what you pay for uh, it's held up pretty well. I haven't had any other troubles or any difficulties with it. Um, I've been pretty happy. It's just, I guess, trying to learn and understand uh, the different settings uh, before. This is the first time I'd had a battery charger. This is the first time I've charged batteries, and I didn't quite understand what these different modes here were for, let alone the battery type. But just kind of understanding what battery type you have, understanding that this is an engine start, this is a 30 amp boost. The 30 amp boost is gonna give you your fastest charge where this is just more of a tenor charge. It's just gonna kinda of hold it and maintain it. Uh, but you have to have it on this, this setting here in order to get your percentage reading. Because for me, that's important. I always want to know, well, how much of a charge do I have? Just so you know, the lowest I've seen my battery get is 55% on a charge. Uh, to get it from 55 to 95, on the 30 amp boost, uh, I've been able to get there in about 30 to 40 minutes. Not bad. I think that's kind of impressive. Um, you never want to let your batteries get below 50%. Uh, that's when you could start to have some wear and tear and some unwanted damage to your batteries. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I will be doing a video on these batteries. I wanted to kind of share uh, what I've learned from them. Uh, there's a little trick to, to keep them from... Uh, losing charge without having to use the tenor mode uh, through the winter or when you're not using your batteries. In my case, it's the winter time. Uh, it's very interesting. I've not seen anything uh, else on YouTube, uh, any other videos explaining what I found. Uh, maybe, and I don't even have an explanation, but come watch my next video. Maybe you guys can help me uh, figure out and understand why these four batteries in parallel uh, don't lose their charge when they're connected with each other. So I, I think it's pretty interesting. So I hope you found this video uh, helpful. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do have more videos coming, uh, a little bit of variety of different things around the house uh, with the fifth wheel. Uh, we also have a, a property that we are developing as well. Uh, I don't know quite sure if I'm going to be using this channel for that or if I'll be creating another channel uh, for uh, our ventures out on our property. But either way, please stay in touch. And I hope this video was helpful for you. And thank you for watching.